Hello, in this video we shall discuss on unsaturated polyester resin and how it's made. Polyester resin is a type of synthetic polymer that is widely made use of in numerous industrial applications. This versatile product is recognized for its high toughness, toughness, and resistance to ecological factors, making it an optimal selection for a selection of manufacturing applications. Polyester resins are created by reacting dibasic organic acids with polyhydric alcohols to produce a synthetic resin. In unsaturated polyester resins, malic anhydride is a common raw ingredient having diacid functionality. Sheet molding compound, bulk molding compound, and laser printer toner all use unsaturated polyester resins. Restaurants, kitchens, bathrooms, and other spaces that require washable, low-maintenance walls commonly employ wall panels produced from polyester resins bonded with fiberglass, sometimes known as fiberglass reinforced plastic FRP. They're also widely employed in cured-in-place pipe installations. In the United States, they are also specified for use as overlays on roadways and bridges by the Departments of Transportation. PCO polyester concrete overlays are the name given to them in this application. These are usually made from isophthalic acid and heavily cut with styrene, up to 50% in some cases. Polyesters, as well as epoxy-based compounds, are utilized in anchor bolt adhesives. Many firms have introduced and continue to produce styrene-free solutions, primarily due to odor concerns, but also due to fears that styrene may be carcinogenic. Most polyester resins are viscous, pale-colored liquids made up of a polyester solution in a reactive diluent such as styrene, but other reactive diluents such as vinyl toluene and different acrylates can also be used. Polyols, also known as polyhydric alcohols, chemical compounds containing numerous alcohol or hydroxy functional groups, combine with unsaturated and, in certain situations, saturated dibasic acids to generate unsaturated polyesters. Glycols such as ethylene glycol, propylene glycol, and diethylene glycol are common polyols. The acids phthalic acid, isophthalic acid, terephthalic acid, and malic anhydride are commonly utilized. Using Le Chatelier's approach, water, a condensation byproduct of esterification processes, is continually eliminated by distillation, driving the reaction to completion. Unsaturated polyesters are often sold as a resin solution in a reactive diluent to parts manufacturers. The most frequent diluent and industry standard is styrene. Market outlook. In 2019, the global unsaturated polyester resin market was worth 11.63 billion United States dollars. In these end-use areas, recent advancements in the building and construction and tank and pipe industries are projected to fuel demand for isophthalic. The market for unsaturated polyester resin is expected to benefit from increased use of environmentally friendly and energy-saving products UPR. Bio-based unsaturated polyester resins, which offer recyclability, excellent strength, and thermal and corrosion resistance with lower thickness, are expected to drive market growth. Demand is expected to be bolstered by technological breakthroughs, innovations, and studies aimed at broadening the product's application scope. In 2019, Asia-Pacific dominated the UPR market with a revenue share of over 57.0%. The growth of major end-use industries such as construction, electronics, transportation, and marine is driving the market. In the near future, the market for UPR is expected to grow due to the automotive industry's strong manufacturing base in China, Japan, and India, as well as increased passenger vehicle sales. In addition, over the forecast period, rising demand for composites in solder pallets, speaker housings, and reinforced cell phones is expected to boost the market for UPR. However, the availability of alternative polymer resins for composites manufacturing, such as epoxy resin and nylon, is expected to limit demand for UPR in electrical applications. Backquote. 